athletes urge sanctions against Iran for execution of wrestler. Hashtag justice for Naveed. In Germany and around the world, um, the German Athletic Advocacy Association, Ath uh, Athlete in Deutschland, on Sunday urged the International Olympic Committee, or IOC, and the United World Wrestling Organization, or uh, UWW, to impose sanctions on the Islamic Republic of Iran for hanging a reportedly innocent champion Greco-Roman wrestler, uh, Navid Afkari. Quote, we expect the IOC and the UWW to take a strong stand against human, the human rights violations of athletes, the organization said, adding, quote, this also includes establishing appropriate sanction mechanisms. The Iranian authorities hanged Afkari for the alleged crime of killing a security guard in protesting against uh, regime corruption during nationwide demonstrations in 2018. Um, Afkari was widely believed to have brutally tortured to confess to a murder that he did not commit. So what's the action plan? Like, what are, First of all, we got a super chat. Do you want to read this? Oh, thank you. We have five pounds from Luke McDonald. These live streams are so good. Really helping with my health phobia. Love you guys. May volunteer after uni. Thanks for the oh. community. Oh, thank you. I was talking thank to you me. in the live chat the other day. It's super glad to have her. Yeah, we're really yeah. happy that you could help find a community here. Um, so, yeah, thank you. And he came on the call with me uh, yesterday as well, so that was nice. Oh, nice. Um, but he, I have a question. What's the action plan here? Um, so this um, German sports uh, organization is calling for sanctions on Iran to be banned from sports, and they're not the only organization involved. So... Um, again, Miriam Namazi is also leading the charge on this. There are um, a lot of people um, who are now calling for Iran to be sanctioned from sporting events. Um, they should be excluded from the world stage of sporting events is um, what people are putting forth. And um, so I also have a, another petition um, put forth by Miriam Namazi in the description for this news. And I encourage everyone to go sign that um, because we need to take a very multidisciplinary approach, right? So if you're going to come after the athletes, then the athletes will not stand for it. Um, they're well, there's other stuff, but I'll let you guys comment. I, I just want to make sure that people understand that these things do actually sometimes work. Like people say, like, oh, this is not going to make any difference. Hey, these petitions, oh, by cutting. No, like countries like Saudi Arabia and um, Iran's government, they do. I should say Saudi Arabia's government as well, instead of just blaming entire Saudi Arabia. But these countries do very much invest on and care about their international image. And sports is a major way to signal to the world your image and what you stand for and market it, do the PR. Like sports is one of the top ways for you to represent yourself in the, in the world. And, um, you know, having your sports team internationally in all international competitions to every audience, uh, constantly being rem reminded that, you know, all oh, Iran is being excluded because of this. Oh, this is why we're like taking action against Iran. This is like a this is like a PR nightmare that these countries, huh? these governments, do not want to deal with. So if you think these are not effective methods, like you don't understand the the the, the priorities and the, the 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 resources, the investments that these countries spend on going out of their way to clean their international image and how desperate they are to avoid these kind these kind of backlashes. So and we need to make sure that these back that they fail we need to make sure that saudi arabia uh, and Ir saudi arabia's government and iran's government fail miserably at whitewashing their international image and these Can these th these programs these campaigns work go on you imagine if china was sanctioned from international sport 
Oof, oof. No. Yeah, Can you imagine the amount that they invest in into their sporting as a means of marketing their country? Like yeah. that would be such a huge hit for them. So I actually think going after sports is a very effective measure because it is one of um, the most powerful ways that countries market themselves, um, especially during Olympics. Um, I'm someone I love the Olympics. I look forward to it like every four years. Um, yeah, it's I, I I think this is a smart move and I hope more um uh sporting organizations take a stand against Iran. But I wanted to read that super chat by Arjun. Um so Arjun gave us ten Canadian dollars. Thank you, Arjun. Um Sindo mm-hmm. Rama. Um it says hashtag justice for Mubarak Bali. Yes. Um can't have these cases happen in the first place instead of hoping hoping for them to be reversed. It's a travesty. Yeah, I agree. I mean, it would, of course, we would prefer that these laws change so that they can't even happen in the first place. But, you know, we have to fight what we have on the table and hopefully fighting what we have on the table can help establish a precedent to um, end these laws. I wanted to bring up a point. We were talking about sanctions. I was thinking about that um, and I forgot to mention, I don't know what happened there, but about the um, Omar Farouk and um, Nigeria, because he's a child and Nigeria does get aid for children, Nigeria is a signatory to this UN um, rights of the child. It seems to me, oh, that's a really good comment. AGA said, if Sudan can change, everyone else can too. Sorry, it just was a very good point. Yes, Um, good one. It seems to me that that could be somehow some pressure that could be put on Nigeria too for this type of behavior, especially for it being a minor. This person's under 18. Yeah, but Rivka, people, because we cut these videos, people would not know what you're talking about because that was, was talking about thing. the Nigerian kid who was yeah. put in jail for 10 years for blasphemy. Good. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Well, you you so, you solved that problem very efficiently. <laughs> no, but <laughs> thank you, Rufka. Like Rufka is like okay, come on, come on. I mean, I could talk about the news. I only have to say like I could just say people what I'm talking about. Okay, chill out. <laughs> no. Just call me the problem solver. <laughs> you are though. Yeah, you are. Okay. I love you. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why. What has what's holding you back? Okay. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that. They want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think is no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even you know, people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because... You know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. (laughs) But we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos 